Today we are going to be looking at how you can make your own numerical integral calculator. If you have a graph with the rate of change, the integral is the area under the curve for a given section of time which represents the total accumulation. Alright, now onto the program. In calculus you learn about an infinite sum called an integral, which is what we're going to make today but not the theoretical analytical way where your answer still has dumb symbols in it. Instead, this will be the real world applicable side of integration. If you're given a rate of change in an interval, you can calculate the total accumulation of a given function. If you graph the total speed of your car versus time, if on the y-axis is speed and on the x-axis is time, you can actually look at the area underneath the curve to see how far you went. You calculate an integral by multiplying very tiny chunks by the rate at that specific time. This creates a little rectangle, like the rectangle is right here. The width of the rectangle is the chunk size and the height is the rate at that time. If you add up all the tiny rectangles, you get the total accumulation. This also works if you have the graph for the acceleration of the car and you want to get the total change in speed. You just integrate acceleration since acceleration is the change in speed. Let's start our program by using the linspace function from last video. People on Reddit were asking about the linspace video, but why? Since you can just use the built-in function from NumPy, but learning how to make your own linspace function gives a fundamental understanding of how we create the little rectangles to calculate the area underneath the curve. Our linspace array is actually this exact A to B X list right here. We have our start point and we have our end point and we have a number of points in between. If we make a very high number of points in between A and B, these rectangles get very, very small and very, very accurate to this area underneath of the curve. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing. So I'm just going to copy and paste in define linspace. You can just call from linspace import all if you have it next to your file in the same folder, but I don't really care about that right now. I just copy and pasted it. I'll put like a little thingy up here or whatever. Now let's define a new function called integral. Let's say integrand x comma a comma b. Integrand is a thing that goes inside of the integral, which is this f of x right here. It's the rate. Let's say that sum equal to zero, the lens base number is equal to, I don't know, like 50,000. And a little trick you could do is sum is equal to zero, but n is equal to 50,000. Doesn't need to be very clear anyway, so I just slap them all together. So let's make our x list of all those x positions that we're going to calculate the rectangles at. Lens space a comma b comma n. Our chunk size is equal to b minus a divided by n. So now we have all of our x positions and we have a distance between every single x point so now we can calculate our rectangles for loop range the length of the x list let's name a new variable expression expr equal to the integrand we're going to replace whatever variables in this integrand with the x value in this x list integrand dot replace x whatever this independent variable is here we're going to replace it with the string of x list of i X list at position i is the x value we want to be evaluating for our little rectangle. Sum plus equals evaluate the expression. That's the height of our rectangle and our width of a rectangle is the chunk size which is q which we defined right here. Now let's just return sum. Alright let's test it out with a uh, print integral. Say x squared is our function for velocity and we're looking for how far our car traveled in miles. Our independent variable obviously is x, which we have to put in string form as well. Let's say it's from 1 minute to 20 minutes. So from 1 minute to 20 minutes, this is our velocity, we're looking for the distance our car went. That's like, pretty far. It's a lot of miles. It's not exact, it should just be 666, like way past this as well. Evil. Um, if we go to 100,000, I'll show you what that happens. It just takes a really long time. If you're calculating those giant numbers, that's pretty accurate. Not to brag or anything, but I got a pretty hefty computer. And that's how you do the numerical version of an integral in Python. No symbols because they're for 